redesign, no more STI badging, new SPT or CVT transmission. Subaru Lakeland has given us the 2022 Subaru WRX GT in the solar orange pearl. The rally inspired sports car gets Recaro seats for the GT. Suede inserts, it's a more modern twist than what we're used to, but I like that we're bringing it to the 21st century with rivals like your Volkswagen Golf GTI, your Hyundai Elantra N, your redesigned Honda Civic Si. Is the performance going to be there? I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides, and I'm gonna go over all the specs and details starting now. The redesigned WRX is gonna get a wider hood scoop because the front fascia has also increased in the width by about an inch. It's lower at 5.4 inches, so this is not going to be the best in class. The setup is gonna keep that aero styling from the grill that brushes into your steering response LED headlamps and LED daytime runnings, brushing into the lower bit with your fog lamp assembly. And I do like how we get that texture that's on the lower bit, almost 30% increase in torsional rigidity, right at 14% better front lateral flexural rigidity. This is allowing Subaru to get a softer spring and shock setup. The only thing that I would mention about the front fascia is it does have a similar stance as the Civic Si. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to distinguish it unless you're looking at that scoop. The GT is gonna get the sports tuned suspension with electronic adjustment for your ride control. Active torque vectoring with VDC, which is vehicle dynamic control in place with your symmetrical all-wheel drive. 18-inch alloy wheels behind it, dual pistons in the front. The rear will get single pistons, a 12.4-inch vented disc, single piston in the rear at 11.4 inches. Quick ratio dual piston electronic power assist steering has been added. Four-wheel independent suspension. You're also getting a strut front type with electronical controlled dampers in the front. A double wishbone in the rear it's also electronically dampered. So you're only gonna get that in the GT. All of this technology has been embedded to make the vehicle ride smoother and have better adjustments. The lower rocker really flares out quite a bit. I do like that it's the same texture as the front bumper and on the rear and around the fenders. And you have the air pocket, just keeping the aerodynamic lines. So that way the vehicle stays planted. It's gained three inches at 183.8 inches with a wheelbase at 105.2 inches. Everything flows into the trunk lid lid spoiler, C-shaped tail lamps. So you're gonna get the signature touch. You're gonna get that gloss black that's gonna be right in between to outline your trunk. And the lower bumper bulges out with a large diffuser and quad exhaust tips. I do like how performance oriented it is. It's just this top bit here, the Honda Civic and this, are they similar? The thing that makes it stand apart though is the lower bit. Going inside to your cargo is at 12.5 cubic feet. The wider track is about a half an inch more than the front. There's storage underneath the floor. The rear bench split folds at a 60-40 split. Now I'll max the cargo with this 2.4 boxer flat engine. Turbocharge, it has a good exhaust note. Let's start it so you can hear it. The new Subaru WRX 
does a 12 PSI maximum boost pressure. With the SI drive, your Subaru Intelligent Drive, that's going to help with the engine, your chassis, and your throttle response. All of that performance is backed with a 2.4 liter direct injection turbocharged Subaru Boxer four-cylinder engine, producing 271 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. That's paired to a SPT or CVT transmission. The GT will not receive a six-speed manual, achieving 19 to 25 mpgs. That's good for a zero to 60 around 5.5 seconds, which is is faster than Honda. Volkswagen, it's going to be a little bit slower than the other rivals, unfortunately, but the quarter mile at 13.9 seconds, which is faster than the GTI. More horsepower you're getting in this than the GTI and the SI. When you're looking at all of the dynamics that they have improved for this year to make this vehicle a better ride, to give it more performance driven, making it longer, wider, giving it more air to breathe. Only thing that I'm thinking about is how is that CVT transmission gonna hold up? But we're gonna see that in the drive. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2022 Subaru WRX GT as we go into the interior, go over the tech and take this for our test run. Entering inside the Subaru WRX GT, you're gonna receive 38.8 inches of headroom, 43.1 inches of legroom, Recaro performance front seats that only come in the GT with the suede inserts, eight way power adjustment for the driver four-way manual adjustment for the passenger. They're heated front seats, and I do like how the suede goes onto the dash with the contrast stitching, and you got the black gloss underneath it going into this large infotainment screen and then adding a touch of the suede right here on the driver's side. More modern, more Subaru oriented. And we have the upgraded 11.6 inch Starlink multimedia with navigation. So we have the pinch. We have the swipe. Click into your home button so you can see all the apps we have. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, streaming Bluetooth audio, AM, FM, XM, switch it to reverse. We do have a reverse camera with a backup assist, which will help for you if you are getting close to an object. I do wish it was the whole screen though, because it kind of makes it like it's two different screens because of the setup. Your dual climate control settings are also in the infotainment. You can lower them here. However, most of the stuff you're gonna have to do here. Your heated seats, the same way. 11 speakers, Harman Kardon, 504 watts. So if that exhaust note's not enough, the stereo will be. Leather wrap steering wheel, flat bottom, contrast stitching in red, multi-function. I do like the WRX badging right here. We have the paddle shifters and the gauge cluster has a 4.2 color display that can go through an array of information for the driver. So it makes it a little bit more easy and intuitive. You get two USBs, a 12 volt, a storage pocket, the gear lever for that CVT transmission. This should be just a standard manual. However, it is what it is. We're gonna see how it is in the drive. Cup holders, a 16.9 ounce fits without any issues. I'd say a 42 ounce. You have another storage pocket, open up its side, 12 volt. It's pretty decent storage. It's just kind of pushed back. As for your elbows, nice and soft. For the door panel, you get the aluminum-like inlays with the gloss black. You get the suede inserts with the contrast in red. Soft where you rest your elbows, contrast stitching again. One touch up and down for all your windows. Storage pocket about two 16.9 ounce can fit. You do get a moon roof. We do have the upgraded eyesight from Subaru. So everything is as tech savvy in the interior as it is on the exterior. Let's see how I look in the back. For the back seats, I'm at 36.7 inches of headroom. 36.7 inches of leg room. The suede inserts hold you really well. So whenever we're taking some corners or doing some performance, it's gonna be all right in the back. Cup holders, maybe a 20 ounce is gonna fit. It's gonna be soft for your elbows. Two USB ports, a storage compartment, and storage beyond both of the front seats. The floor is not completely flat. Door panel gets the same treatment in the back. So you get that aluminum slash carbon fiber look with the gloss black underneath it. Suede insert right here with the contrast stitching, soft where you rest your elbows. One touch for your windows and your storage pocket. 
Let's see how I'll look in the center. Sitting it to the center headroom is not gonna be too much of an issue as long as I don't move forward because there's a lip from the moon roof. For leg space, I fit without too many issues. I am sharing feet, butt, shoulder space. This vehicle's not really derived to fit three back here, but you can if you have to. The refreshments on the interior of the WRX has been something that is more welcoming because you're easier to fit in the back seat and you could do three adults my dimensions, six foot three. It's kind of a no-brainer. Taking the 2022 Subaru WRX GT out for our test run. 2.4 liter boxer flat engine with 271 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. CVT transmission does not sound correct in a WRX. Electronically dampered controls it's still going to feel the speed bumps. There's no way around that, but you can go about 10 miles per hour and the Recaro seats hold you really well. So you don't have to really worry too much about that. But we are going to see how well she performs. And here we go. It's good, it's a fun, riding vehicle it just when you're used to a manual transmission in this particular car going to a cvt is going to take some of the fun factor away yes they make the gear ratio mimic an automatic transmission and the exhaust note that you get when you're going slower really filters into the interior in the sense of sounding like bass but look The maneuverability is there, the visibility is good, blind spot monitoring, so you are getting some of the safety attributes. There is three things I like and three things that I dislike, because anything more than that, I'd be buying this WRX. The three things that I like is the exhaust note that you get. I wish it was a little bit throatier though, because obviously the person who buys this, whether it's the first or second owner, they're gonna probably throw a cat back in the exhaust to make it a little bit more sounding and probably going to play with the tuning for your computer chip because you already have electronic dampers. You don't really have to do much for the suspension. Maybe lower it, but I don't really think it would be good to lower it too much more because the ride would be a little bit less forgiving. But tune it up with the exhaust now. The second thing that I like is how much performance I feel when I'm at a stoplight. The hood scoop, it's larger, it's breathing more. The exhaust, like I said on my first thing that I like, it just really plays a good role and it makes me want to push the throttle just like this. But then when I do it, it dies at like three RPMs. Like keep the exhaust escalating. The last thing that I like about it is now in the interior, it's more refined, it's more comfortable because we're in the GT. There's a disadvantage, which we'll get to in a second. Plus the space in the back is a little bit better too. So low to the ground. Three things that I dislike starts off with the electronic damping control. You can only get that in the GT, which means I can't get that with a manual transmission. I can only get that with a CVT transmission. And don't get me wrong, I like paddle shifters, but it's like playing a video game. When you're engaged with a stick shift, you're actually engaged. The second thing that I dislike goes to the rear with the diffuser. The, bottom part of the bumper looks like it was added as an afterthought because the parking sensors are above it and when I'm in this 40-ish thousand dollar price point and it's a fully refreshed plus they thought of everything it, it would have been nicer to be a little bit more streamlined and put those sensors maybe down lower so that way it doesn't look like that the last thing that I dislike goes to the styling on the exterior looks similar to a Honda Civic and I would hope that this would not look similar to that yeah there is some things that make this vehicle stand out it's just there is some similarities as well as for a fun to drive vehicle on a daily base you can do that the suspension does feel a lot more tuned than the prior generation and when you give it the throttle it does feel like it's a regular transmission instead of CVT transmission so the Subaru the Subaru performance transmission or SPT slash CVT 
is pretty good. The ratio is also a little bit different, so that way it can handle the performance of the WRX. As for the way it feels, I like how it holds itself. The dynamics feels good to it, and you know, whenever you give it some go, you can finally hear that exhaust. Road noise does filter in. The dampening could have been improved a little bit more, but you're not really expecting to get it ultra quiet. You want to feel that rally in the vehicle, so I think they have really nailed it on the head. Brakes on the vehicle with the dual piston. <laughs> stop on a dime. Turn radius at a stop point is going to get about two lanes, and to give it a little go, That way you can hear that throaty exhaust note. I like how it filters in at the end, like when you're sitting and you go lower, you can hear just ooh, roar up. I mean, I do like the soundtrack. Just a little bit more would be, you know, something welcome. Here we go. Funny that we're talking about a Civic. I know, it's an older Civic. It's just, you know, kind of funny. Comparing it to the Honda Civic, that's going to be a little bit more grown up. The interior of this is Subaru, so you know exactly what you're in as soon as you get inside the vehicle. When you see the hood scoop, when you see that large diffuser in the rear, it's a no-brainer. Comparing it to the Golf GTI, that is one of my... I kind of like that vehicle a bit, but it's a different styling. This is going to be more of a rally racer, and I mean, to show you, look... definitely a pleasing ride and it's smooth which is something that is not necessarily known for in this line against the Elantra that has a lot of power underneath it and it's not as heavy either this one does weigh a little bit more you still get the performance it's not going to be super track worthy but you can always tune this thing make it go a little bit faster throw that cap back and just enjoy it i'd like to thank subaru lakeland for giving us this 2022 subaru wrx gt for our car review if you're already a subscriber thank you for being part of the hawkeye community if not what are you waiting for click the next video the subscribe button check out the details merchandise website and everything we do here at hawkeye ride let's rock and roll guys It just would feel a little bit better to be doing it with the manual transmission.